well, I'm attempting to become the most tattooed person in the world. And when I say most tattooed person in the world, I've got a hell of a lot of competition to go up against. But yeah, that's what my aim is. And it's very uh, difficult to find someone to tattoo your face for you. I want to get the rest of this done, the eye sockets and that. Finding someone to do it and getting the courage together is a bit difficult, but that will happen as and when. I've got the fear and loathing on my back, which is about a third complete. The fire on my chest, the two skulls kissing, which was to symbolise the unity between me and my ex-partner when Riley was born. I had the tribal on my right arm, which I'm now filling in to make black. The black, once it's all done, I'll make sure it's like solid and I'll start tattooing whites over that and then on the white I plan to build pictures and colour. It's almost like a negative effect if you like. I've got a uh, tribal design on my right leg, a pinhead from the Hellraiser movie on my left leg. Um, I've started blacking out the top of my left leg as well. In November 2005, my little boy was born, and unfortunately, due to complications, five days later, he passed away. So I thought, because of the special care baby unit, put so much time and effort into trying to make sure that he could survive, and unfortunately he didn't, that I would get a tattoo of him. It's a good way of remembering him, and it's a good way of raising some money for the charity. This is as close to me as he can be, so I'm as close to my heart as I can, and impregnated and underneath my skin. But being, it will live with me forever in my mind and in my body.